Welcome to Burning Eyes Tech guys, in today's episode of the Azure Fundamentals we're going to be taking a look at Azure's application gateway. Alright, so what exactly is the Azure application gateway? Now if you guys have watched episode 6 of this series, which was Azure's load balancer, uh, this is actually very much the same as the Azure load balancer. So if we look at the components here, it allows you to go and distribute traffic it's a traffic distribution service and also allow load balancing for web traffic between virtual machines or app services. Now, doesn't that sound similar to load balancer? It does. So just like the load balancer, which we discussed in episode six, it allows you to balance loads between your virtual machines. However, this time around, it's not just between virtual machines. It's also your app services. So you could go and use it just for virtual machines, but if you have web traffic coming in on, for example, HTTP, in other words, port 80 and stuff like that, there could potentially be a need for extra services. Maybe there's something extra. Maybe there's additional functionality that you need or require in that situation. And if that's the case, Azure's application gateway might be better suited for your needs and requirements for your companies. Most of the companies I personally have dealt with Instead of using a load balancer for web traffic, they would resort to using an application gateway. So if you just want to play an old gun, go and balance traffic between virtual machines and stuff like that, whether it's for the public internet, you know, or whether it's for internal use, sure, go and get yourself a load balancer. But if you are going to sit with a situation of web traffic coming in, you know, for something like uh, an app service, perhaps, then you might have to go take a look at the app gateway. All right, and if you take a look at this nice little picture that I've compiled for you guys, you can see I've got a load balancer there. That is generally what we'd use in the past uh, with normal load balancing. So like we've discussed in episode six, if you just want to go and do normal load balancing, whether it be for public, whether it be for private use, you would just normally go and get yourself a load balancer. But when it starts you know, resorting to things like web traffic, in other words, HTTP, you might want to go and replace that with what we call an app gateway. That's normally what we do it. And that's because it gives you all kinds of extra features. And these features generally allow you as the administrator or the user to go and manage their web traffic better. That's basically one of the main reasons. So it's still a traffic distribution um, component. So it's still distributes your traffic between your virtual machines. You know, it's going to go look at the load and all that. And it's going to distribute it accordingly. But it gives you additional features that allows to manage your traffic better. Things like your firewall, things like that. I mean, why not? All right. Now, what I've mentioned so far was only regarding virtual machines, but this is actually not just limited to virtual machines. It actually is also for app services. It doesn't really matter. It could be a virtual machine. It could be an app service. Either way, App Gateway is going to be the better way to go and get this stuff done. So whenever it comes to web traffic, you could go and use a load balancer, but it's going to be somewhat limited when it comes to features and functionality. Um, I personally would suggest rather go and replace that load balancer with an app gateway, giving you additional functionality and additional features like the firewall. It's not just limited to firewall. I'm going to mention some of the components now in a moment that you actually get of this. But like a firewall, which allows you as the administrator or allows your user to better manage their web traffic. So in a nutshell, it just allows you to manage your traffic better because of all the extra goodies and toys you effectively have. So I think of all that nonsense being said, let's actually go and look at some of the benefits you get when it comes to the App Gateway. You can see here we've got App Gateway characteristics, load balancer for web traffic. So it's still the same as a normal load balancer, except this is now for web traffic specifically. You get a firewall for your web applications. You know, come to think of it, there's pretty much not a component on Azure these days that doesn't have its own little firewall, so to speak. In the beginning, there was firewalls, but there wasn't a lot. These days, there's, there's almost not a component on Azure that doesn't have its own little firewall. So that's going to really allow you to go and manage your traffic a lot better if you are the administrator about this. You can go and do what they call redirection. You can go and redirect traffic if need be. It has a session affinity if you want to be sure that your users are always redirected to the same server. It has URL routing or routing, depending on which country you're in. You know, they pronounce this differently in different countries. And then lastly, it has SSL termination, which is basically going to go and decrypt traffic, putting less strain on the back end, you know, causing it to go and scale up and costing you action in the background. So if I have to go back to your previous picture here, there we go. So there's my previous picture. The traffic coming in from the internet side, that web traffic, uh, that's normally encrypted traffic, in other words, HTTPS. 
the app gateway is then going to go and decrypt that traffic for you and from the app gateway to your virtual machine or your app service it's going to be a normal http form in other words clear text so the app gateway is going to take some of that load which means less scaling has going to happen in the back end for your virtual machines and your app services scaling means you're going to be using more resources more resources means you're going to be paying more so in, in azure and i'm sure you guys have noticed this you pay for what you use the less you use the less you pay so ideally you want the app gateway to be able to go and do some of that decrypting for you which means less of that's going to happen at the back end which means less scaling which means it costs you less so why not i mean if you are going to be paying less why not i would say <laughs> i just noticed i said which means which means which means a lot so uh, if i had a penny right now for every time i said which means which means i'll probably be very very rich i guess and there i go i just kept saying it again all right guys so that is azure's application gateway in a nutshell i hope this has been informative like usual if you know the drill by now give the video a like subscribe if you're new to this place uh, otherwise like usual you will not know when a new episode comes out or if i go and release a new series which is going to be the case in the future i will see you guys next time on episode 8 of the az900 series Let me. Hey. Mm -hmm.